Hi, my name is Reza. Welcome to PLSQL Beginner to Advanced Tutorial Series. Today we will learn about PLSQL exception handling. And we will find throughout this tutorial are no data found error, too many rows error, other error, error code and error messaging. First we will see the basic example of exception handling. Let's create an anonymous block. In the declaration section, we declare a variable b name and its type versa2 and its size is 100. Inside the beginning int, we use simple DML, which is from employee table and where we use the employee ID equal 100. And the first name value will be populated into the variable b name. This is quite simple DML. And the value that we'll print by using the dbms output dot put line function, and here it is. So if I execute this one, after executing the snippet, here we can see the result employee name equal Steven. Let's modify this anonymous block that will return an error. So here I just want to change the value train. And after executing this one, here we can see no data found error. So how do we resolve this or how do we handle these types of exception? And here we use the exception block here. This is exception and inside exception we use when condition. So if we have no data found error, then the error raise or we will show the message employee not found. So let's execute this one. After executing, as you can see, the employee not found. Now you will see another example of handling multiple exceptions like too many rows and no data found error. So how do we do that? From this example, we just want to see the no data found error. So first I just want to change this one and here the employee ID is 10 and the next session block no data found will be executed. So let's execute this one and here we can see the employee not found error arised. So if I change this one to again 800 and the result will be found for uh, first name into B name and then the select statement the multiple rows found error so I just want to uh, get some uh, departments by using the B name and here the simple DML operation so the value Department ID will be populated as scalar variable declaration B employee uh, B department ID here. So this one return multiple record. So our exception will be arise per multiple row found, and the exception block will be executed here. The too many rows, and this is the DBMS output output line inside this one. There are more then one employees with this uh, with this name actually name of and here the uh, return b name uh, variable value will be populated here so and number 
27 here we use dbms output output line try another one so our too many rows will execute this to block so if i statement actually so if i uh, execute this one after executing this one here we can see the error uh, arise there are more than one employees with this name steven try another one so in this way we can manage or handle the multiple row found error in PL SQL block now we will see another example of when other example so from this example of this error we will reproduce this one by using vname limiting size so I just want to limiting the size here so I just want to give the value 6 here and then I just want to write here another block which is others and inside this one I just want to write I just want to limiting the size of vname actually one and after executing this one here we can see an exception block exception error happened connect with the programmer so this one the other option of exception block so this way we can use no data too many rows and other option uh, other option exception in PL SQL block now we will see another example of SQL error and SQL code messages in our message box so how do we uh, see or reproduce this issue inside the other I just want to rename it and here I just want to write SQL code So this one so after executing this one here we can see the error code error message code actually so and the actual message is here numeric or value error character string buffer to small which is very predefined and specified Hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Keep watching the next tutorial. Thanks.